Hey guys, welcome back. So back in April 2019, I made this video on how you can supercharge your 4K Fire Stick by following a process to freeze system applications. Now I just press the play button for a second. Now looking back, I would say this was a fairly complicated procedure because it required you to download a couple of different applications. You didn't have to use a keyboard. In fact, if I press play, and there we can just see it guys, that really is a long command. I mean, to be fair, um, it still allowed us to do what we wanted to do, which was to freeze the system applications. And going down into the video, once you entered in those commands, you eventually got Icebox to open up, which we can see there. And once Icebox is up, you can then just choose those system applications. And I think at the end of this video, and there we can just see at the end of the video, we were able to freeze 10 of those system applications, which once again would then free up memory and free up those CPU cycles. Now, so that was back in April 2019. And if we now forward to March 2020, we now have this method. So this process once again does utilize Icebox, but instead of us typing in many commands manually, we were able to use copy and paste with the built-in remote control inside remote ADB shell, and we ended up freezing about 15 different applications. So that was back in March this year. Now fast forward to June 2020 this year, and the reason why I showed you that intro was just to show you that just because I found a solution today doesn't mean I'm not going to find a better solution tomorrow. And I'm always looking for newer ways, cooler ways, better ways of doing things to really just get the best from our devices. So let me now present to you the TDUK Fire Stick Debloat Box. If I open that up and here we have the brand new TDUK Fire Stick Debloat Box guys. So no more typing, no more remote ADB shell. Just choose all of the things that you want to disable or freeze. Let's say we want to disable this thing over here. Let's click on that. Let's click on this thing over here. Click on a play button. And just like that, the toolbox types in all of those commands for you and freezes those things that you clicked on. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also get the Debelot toolbox on your device to really give you the best possible performance. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the latest 4K Fire Stick from Amazon. So if I just go over to settings, the only thing we need to do in terms of options is just make sure that in my Fire TV developer options, you have ADB debugging enabled. Now, if for whatever reason the toolbox is not able to connect to your device, all you need to do is come back in here, turn this off for a couple of seconds, and then turn it back on. But let's see what actually happens when I first try and run the tool. So once you've made sure that you have ADB debugging enabled, let's press the home key. Let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, let's now navigate to my website, which is just bit.ly forward slash TDUK. That's me and the numbers. 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote. Once you do that, that will take you straight to my website. Now, when you get to my website, you need to open up the tutorials page. So let's go to the hamburger menu and click on tutorials. Now, so when you do go to the tutorials page, if you cannot see the latest tutorial for whatever reason, all you need to do is press the context key on the remote, click on disable JavaScript and reload page. Give that a second, press the context key again, and just select the option enable JavaScript and reload page. So this will just make sure that your device has the latest version of my web page, and you should then be able to see the latest tutorial. So let's now open that up. And here is the latest tutorial. So you get to see a quick summary about exactly what is bloatware. And as we know, bloatware is typically stuff that your manufacturer, in our case, Amazon, puts on your device. And even if you don't want to use them, typically you cannot remove them until today. So let's scroll down. And here is the link for the TDUK Fire Stick Debloat tool. So let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download the toolbox directly onto your device. Let's click on install. Okay, let's press the home key. Let's now press and hold the home key to bring up our apps library. Click on apps. Let's go to the bottom of this list by pressing left. Here is a new toolbox there. Let's press the context key on that and select move to front. Okay, let's now open this up. Now, the first time you open this up, you may not see any IP address in here, but because we're using the toolbox to connect directly to the Fire Stick itself, 
we can leave the IP address as 127.0.0.1, which is the loopback or the local host address. If you're going to install this toolbox onto your Android phone or Android tablet, you'll have to enter in the IP address of your Fire Stick, which you can normally find by going to settings, my Fire TV, about, and then network settings. But in our example, because we're connecting directly to ourselves, we can leave the IP as is. Let's keep pressing right on the remote and let's click on connect. Now, very interesting thing here, guys. Firstly, you must see that prompt. If you don't see that prompt for whatever reason, go and turn off ADB for a couple of seconds and then turn it back on. Now, even when you do actually see this prompt, there is a slight bug here where the application does actually need to restart itself. So you need to make sure you click on always allow, then click on OK. And we can see the application is now shut down. Let's open that up again. Let's keep pressing right on the remote. Let's click on connect. And this time we can see we are now connected to the Fire TV Diblo toolbox, guys. So definitely do give a thumbs up for that. And now we can basically go down here. Now these are 30 things I've actually tested myself on the 4K Fire Stick. I've had them completely disabled and it's not given me any adverse effect, no crashing, no rebooting, anything like that. And of course, having these 30 processes disabled has greatly improved my general performance, general navigation, and just overall speed of my 4K Fire Stick. Now, in terms of how to use this, the first thing I always recommend you do, guys, when you first open up the toolbox, is actually go to the play button at the top. And this will actually type in the command for you, which is PM list packages minus D. And that's basically asking your Fire Stick, show me all of the packages that are currently disabled, just so we can confirm exactly what's disabled right now. So if I click on the play button, there's a command there. So the command once again is just PM list packages minus D. And we can see we had no response. So nothing came back, which means right now on my device, nothing is disabled. Okay, so let's now go and disable something. So if I press the back button on the remote, let's go down. Okay, so just for a test, I want to disable um, the boiler music, which is one, uh, this notification, that's two. Uh, let's do some random ones just to show you. Um, let's also do, um, let's do the Kindle ones. Because again, I always wonder why do we have Kindle software running on our Amazon Fire Sticks? Okay, let's just do these two. So we have those two down there and we have those two up there. So that's four in total so far. Once you've selected the applications or the processes that you want to disable, once again, let's go to the play button at the top, click on play. And here we can see now this toolbox is now entering in those commands, telling our Fire Stick to disable those four packages. And the very last thing it does at the end of every command is just to show you once again, these are the disabled packages on your device. And we can now see we have four packages disabled. Okay, let's back out of this. Now, before I continue, guys, I do want to reboot my device because in one of my other videos, somebody was saying like, even when they disable a package from the command line, when they reboot the device, that package seems to come back. So I just want to make sure we don't have this issue here. So once again, we can confirm we have four things disabled. That's fine. Let me exit out of this. Let me now press the play and the select button together for five seconds, just to initiate a reboot of the device. And let me just take this opportunity to give a massive thanks to all of the new members on my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I am doing a special promotion for the first 25 members of my channel, whereby all of you will be able to join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can also share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so the device has just restarted. All I'm going to do is go down to the toolbox, open that up. And this is the key thing here, guys. Oh, let's make the connection first. Now, because we selected the option that always remember the connection, we won't see that prompt again. And if for whatever reason you cannot connect anymore, once again, go back to your ADB settings, turn off ADB debugging, give that a couple of seconds, and then turn it back on. Okay, so we're back in here. And as I previously mentioned, guys, every time you start this tool, the first thing I recommend you do is go to the play button, click on that. And this will once again confirm we have those four packages disabled, guys. So even after a reboot, whichever packages you had previously selected, they will all stay permanently frozen on your device, giving you back all of that valuable memory and really just improving the performance of your device. Okay, let's back out of that. 
Okay, so let's now go a bit crazy and let's say I want to disable pretty much everything. So click on this, click on this. All right. Now, once again, guys, if you do disable everything, and um, as I mentioned, I did actually have these disabled on my device for more than a week now with, without any um, adverse effects. But if you do notice that something has stopped working or something is not working as it should, you can always go back in here and just uncheck the stuff that you want to enable again. But in my example, I'm now going to click on everything. All right, so I've now clicked on everything. Let's scroll up. Now, if you don't want to click everything manually, you can also click on this icon up here, which will basically select everything for you. Once that's all done, let's go back to the top. Let's click on the play button. And this will now type in those commands for you and disable 30 packages, 30 of those core system packages on your 4K Fire Stick. And we can just see that it's going and doing its magic there. Now, just while we're waiting for this to happen, guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, if you want to see more tutorials for the 4K Fire Stick or the second generation Fire TV Cube or the new NVIDIA Shield Pro, or even now the new TiVo Stream 4K, then please do like this video and also think about subscribing and now also joining. Thank you. Okay, that's now all done. Let's press the back button on the remote. Let's press the back button again. Let's now go back into the application. Let's connect one more time. Let's click on the play button just because we want to see a status of what's actually disabled on our device. So let's click on the play button. There's the command there. Actually, let me scroll up. So we can see once again, the command that was entered was PM list packages minus D. And this is now showing you on my device, all of these packages are now not running anymore. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. And the reason why I showed you that intro was just to show you that just because I found a solution today doesn't mean I'm not going to find a better solution tomorrow. And I'm always looking for newer ways, cooler ways, better ways of doing things to really just get the best from our devices. So once again, guys, if you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, do think about subscribing and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.